Okay, here's another tutorial on how to customize your Revit families. Okay, so this is again a manhole. So this is a 2017 version. So if I drag this one, okay, as you see this one here. So this is a 2017, so it's a lower version. So this is the original manhole. Okay, just basic, basic uh, parameters, and also the place here, the uh, dimensions in the type. So, okay, so this is now the customized um, manhole. Okay, so this one, but you don't need a dynamo for this one, you just need uh, the distance of the manhole, and then it will automatically calculate the depth and then the IL and TL so we have some example here so this one so let's see align this one here first story okay here we align this one and here center just like, like that so currently this is now the TL uh, plus zero two five and then six one two five so so this one it has no parameter for tagging that's why it's not showing so we just delete this one for now so I'll just show you the uh, process and how you can eliminate all those uh, parameter inputs so this one is like more automated so if I draw a line here Let's say I will copy this one. Okay, so and let's check also the distance for this one. So two seven uh, twenty seven meters point five hundred millimeter. Okay. So what you need to do in the second IC is just you select this one here. Okay. And then you just type here the distance. So two seven uh, five hundred. Then also in here, since you have already the previous IL, this one six one two five. So it will also report the depth. This one. That reporting will be one two zero five. This one, so you have to type also here. So one two zero five point fifty six. Once I press apply here, uh, it will watch this uh, IL and this one IL here. It will change. So it's it's now five point eight one nine. So it's correct here. So no need to type all those IL and TL. So you just type the distance and then the depth. So if I draw a pipe here, okay, so if I draw a pipe here, select a pipe and then you select the slope, one is 290. So that's, so I cannot connect here because it's the wrong length. It should be in the middle. So I can connect in the middle. I try, let's try. But the sloping is, is off a little. So if you go to the 3D, this one, this one, so still a, uh, still correct, but it's a little off 1.86. So you have like 0 0.04 difference. But if if I go here and uh, let me create a section here. And then go to view. If 
sign reframe and just that. That's the level. Come back and let's see the level. Anyway, <clears throat> the level is not showing. Maybe on the give us up. So, as you can see, this one it will automate the offset. So, let's try again uh, for this one here. Same sample. So we drag this section here up to here. Okay, so let's try again this one. We call line here. Okay. Just to exactly copy this one. Okay. Then it says here, um, what's the length of here? So this one will be 332 meters. So if I go to the section, go to view. So this one is the same level. <laughs> Excuse me. So now I will type now the distance. 32, 1, 2, 3. Okay, then it will calculate the actual depth reporting. One, two, five, five point uh, eighty-six. Twelve, five point eighty-six. Once I enter this one, it will offset now, and then the IL watch here, it will change. So I enter. So now it's. I select this one, it's 5.77. Let's go back here, then type this one. This one also. So it's it's automatic update, it will update. Okay. Then I can draw a pipe again here. So now it's not showing because this one is. So this one is 2000. So if I draw a pipe, yeah, it should be actually it should be in the center. So if you go back now to the section, this one is ninety. Let me check again. Thirty-two. Ah, this one you should get the I L for this one. So that's why it's not complete. This one you should get the 5.819. You should type here 5.819. This one. Then this one type here 5.819. So that it will be correct in the correct offset. So as you, as you can see here, it will change or update. You get the previous IL, okay? So if I get this one, what will be the depth for this one? Reporting 1561.86, 1561.86. So that's the correct uh, depth. So if I enter there and then go, go back here. So it's actually, it's in the center now. So this is the... The... I invert the well this in center here okay so that's how you can automate without using dynamo so again if I change this one let's say I will change here maybe here this area then uh, I will draw a line here 
Let's go align. Maybe here. Then you want to align this one. Like that. Then you measure this one. It's copy 24199. So since we have ready the previous IL because we copy this one. So this one 5.8199. Then just place here the distance. Place here the distance. And then enter. Of course, you check again the depth reporting 1474. So you type here uh, 1474. Okay. Okay. Now you draw a pipe here. If you draw a pipe, draw a pipe. It's similar. Just draw pipe here. And then, okay, sorry. So let's just disconnect this one. And then draw a pipe. So usually you have to draw pipe here. And then okay so if you check now this one it's perfect also in the center it's 3d see this one perfect in the center also so you don't have to do it uh, manually just type the distance and then the depth and that's it so okay so i'll show you the family edit this one edit family so this one you can create no as long as you have the correct uh, dimension so she did so that's the um, parameter you have you have here the base of IC from bottom and then this is the IL here at the center this one here actually this is the IL at the center center to center this one and this is the top level this one from here this one this one then the formula you can screen capture this one you copy get this one ah this one so this this um, family is, is from PUB Singapore. So I customized this one so to to do uh, automation. You just input the parameter of the depth and then the distance. And then that's it. I also the previous IM. So you input only three. Once you have that, then it's easier for you to. Um, place your IC or manhole without dynamo okay so okay you check the connection and try to uh, copy this one this is all a uh, instance parameter most of it this default one is instance parameter just copy this one and then paste and then it will work so if you want also a tutorial so you can contact me also this is a one-on-one -on -one tutorial for the families you can also message me okay so that's it thank you